June 10th, 2020, study provides new explanation for neutrino anomalies in Antarctica. Hello and welcome. This is Trinity Red or Blue Pill. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. Found this article very interesting and I've been meaning to cover it for some time. So let's go over this. A new research paper by Virginia Tech Assistant Professor of Physics provides a new explanation for two recent strange events that occurred in Antarctica. High energy neutrinos appearing to come up out of the earth on their own accord and head skyward. The anomalies occurred in 2016 and 2018 and were discovered by scientists searching for ultra high energy cosmic rays and neutrinos coming from space, all tracked by an array of radio antennas attached to a balloon floating around roughly around 23 miles above the South Pole. Neutrinos are exceedingly small particles created in a number of ways, including exploding stars, gamma ray bursts, and they're everywhere within the universe and they are tiny enough to pass through just about any object from people to lead in buildings and Earth itself. The events were discovered by a scientist at the ANITA experiment. That's short for the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, which started in 2006 in the South Pole. Twice, ANITA scientists have discovered radio signals mimicking highly energetic neutrinos, seemingly coming upward out of the ground on their own accord. Scientists remain perplexed by this activity. 40 papers so far giving wildly different answers. The pulses are neutrinos that passed unencumbered through the entire core of the earth. They came out of the ground. The pulses are the long sought after fourth neutrino, which is known as the sterile neutrino. This mysterious dark matter of space is to blame, or this is an entirely unknown frontier. Say that the anomalies are not from neutrinos, but that they are merely unflipped reflections of an ultra high energy cosmic ray. It's for example, difficult to see a hand unless there is a contrasting background. Were there no background to the hand, the hand itself would vanish. Nothing is more fertile than emptiness. But you always have to have a background to see a figure. You just can't do without it. To have the whole idea of there being only space and nothing else at all is not only inconceivable but perfectly meaningless because we always know what we mean by contrasts. We know what we mean by white in comparison with black. They must come into being together. Because of the inseparability of these opposites, they always go together. This, as it were, hints at some kind of unity which underlies them. You don't have first something, and then nothing, or first nothing, and then something. This unity is called Tao. Space and form, in that sense, go together as the fundamental things we're dealing with in this universe. That which is void, is precisely form, and that which is form is precisely void. Interfaces where this reflection can happen and could explain these events. Whatever Anita has found, it is very interesting. As scientists pur- purposely blast radio signals into the areas where the anomalies occurred that when cosmic rays or neutrinos go through ice at a very high energies, they scatter on materials inside the ice on protons and electrons, and they can make a burst of radio and big, nice radio signal that scientists can see. You have entered the twilight zone. (laughs) Just being funny. 
I haven't even read this article yet, but it looks interesting. So let's go. CERN experiments announce first indications of a rare Higgs boson process at the Atlas CMS experiments at CERN. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have announced the results, which show that the Higgs boson decays into two muons. August 3rd, 2020. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you've watched my other video on CERN and the invisible, par invisible particles acting like poltergeists, then it would kind of be worth maybe checking out. It's a really quick video. Otherwise, we'll just keep moving forward on this one. And remember, not only is um, CERN in Geneva, Switzerland, the Department, of, Department of Energy also has brought a part over here, and there's several locations of Fermilabs that work with CERN and the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiments. So, it says here that uh, CERN, the Atlas CMS experiment, announced new results which show that the Higgs boson decays into two muons. The muon is a heavier copy of the electron, one of the elementary particles that constitute the matter content of the universe. Electrons are classified as first generation particle and muons belong to the second generation. The physics process of the Higgs boson decaying into these rare muons is a phenomenon to, as only about one Higgs boson and 5,000 decays into muons or dark matter. These results are pivotal importance for fundamental physics because they indicate for the first time that the Higgs boson interacts with second generation elementary particles. Hmm, elementary, dear Watson. Just silly, silliness. I gotta have some humor, right? Okay, so physicists at CERN have been studying the Higgs boson since its discovery in 2012. Kind of like black goo. CMS is proud to have achieved this sensitivity to the decay of the Higgs boson's two muons. The Higgs boson in the quantum manifestation of the Higgs field, which gives mass to elementary particles. And I'll put all this in the link below if you want to read into all of the uh, interesting bits and pieces of this. And I put in um, kind of little hints about the tau, and they're talking here about the tau leptons. And the tau, I need to do a video on in all on itself because the tau is a big deal and they don't talk about it much but from my research <clears throat> excuse me it tells a lot more than what they say just having a fun discussion and keeping it real and hopefully fun and interesting so thank you trinity red or blue pill hi ho kermit the frog here this all connects together this is what created the World Wide Web with DARPA, Fermilabs, and a lot of deep underground military bases and the deep underground neutrino experiments. So much more to discuss.